right, so I had to get breakfast, and look what I decided to get. I mean, you really can't go wrong with tacos at 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get down with those right now. But I'll see you guys later. <laughs> So, I just found out a little bit ago, maybe like 20 minutes ago, that the general, there's a general power outage in Puerto Rico. Like, this affects, like, the entire island. It's not just sectors. Usually towards my house, since we get fed from a distribution line straight from the power generation plant, like, we don't get these outages, but these outages are, like, island-wide. And it's extremely unfortunate because hurricane season is like two months out. And at this point, like, where are we standing with everything? So, it's, it's just like, like, it gets tiring. I'm not even there and I feel for everybody else, especially us since we own a business. We depend on internet and electricity to operate. So... We have employees that depend on us. But that's the current situation right now. I'm at a stop and shop here. I'm gonna grab some stuff for my wife for the house and let's get to it. <laughs> face look at this I just went those three flight of stairs it took me 30 minutes to bring all this stuff up and my back is just destroyed right now I had to take some pain medication it's a lot it's all over the place too look got that water bottles that there's more over there and there's still a box of water and a box of Coke, Coca-Cola downstairs. But those will have to come back up whenever we make the trick back up. But I'm beat right now. Next time I go downstairs, which will be a little later today, I'm going to try to fly the drone again. So let's see what happens. <clears throat> but... Today's a pretty much an easy day. What I wanted to talk about was today around 10.30 in the morning, Puerto Rico time, there was a huge power outage. It took out the whole grid on the whole island, on the entire island. So this kind of sucks because the US is paying a whole bunch of billions of dollars to fix this power grid. 
and there's contractors out there but the system was so crappy like it was so bad that what they've been doing is things that need to be replaced or replacing them but things that can be repaired or repairing them so when you repair something if i were to repair this this is like one of those head massage things <clears throat> if i was to repair this and i would repair let's say this plastic thing came off right from factory so i'll be like okay i'll just melt a little piece of plastic and put it at the end so the metal doesn't scratch my head what is is it better to replace just one of these and take this apart compromising all the other ones integrity sticking to this or is it just better to get a new one what's co what's more cost efficient because yeah the, the the electric company might be losing millions of dollars by not generating electricity plus the damages but how about the people we run a business that relies on internet and it relies on electricity and if i don't have those two things i'm not in business and i'm losing thousands of dollars how does that even work how about restaurants that they, they have they had to buy their own generator so now they have to increase the price of food because the power might be out 36 hours to 48 hours two days two days those refrigerators need to be working two days that food needs to be in a cool place and you gotta run that one generator you see one generator is good for up to 12 hours but continuously running a generator it'll kill the generator so that's another expense and not just for the electric company because the electric company doesn't pay for none of that but for the people hospitals the airport like hurricane season's two two months away i mean when is something gonna get done or we can't just throw the towel and call it quits something major needs to happen change needs to happen how do we do the change i mean tesla stepped up to the plate and they offered help is it is it feasible or do we just go with the greed of owning a corporation to pay people money that we know we can't pay back when is the lives of people matter more <clears throat> and the well-being of the people I, I just don't get it it's mind-boggling to me so that's kind of all i have to say for now but later I'll get that drone footage and you guys treat you to some uh, local area. Rhode Island's beautiful. It has a lot to offer. Small, like Puerto Rico, but it has a lot to offer. So I'm just going to stop yapping right now because I'm still out of breath. And I need to cool off, take a shower. So I'll see you in a bit. see my wife at our aunt's house it's really nice outside today look so I should be able to get the drone footage once I get to my aunt's house so let's go all right so we can't even win one it's so windy that the drone trip to the left. look at the flags so I'll have to wait until the weather conditions let me do this drone footage, unfortunately. All right, so I'm going into the house right now. All right, guys, so it's uh, 8.32. I'm gonna call it a day today. Um, I got sidetracked on some things. My brother called from Peru, so I talked to him for a little bit. Um, and right now I'm just gonna edit this vlog. I'm gonna call it here. Um, if you like the video, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'll try to keep posting videos every day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.